Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to install a water softener. Well, the first consideration is where you're going to install that water softener. So um, think about where your water comes into the home. Um, are you on a municipal water supply? Then look for a water meter because you'll be installing it after the pipe leaves the water meter but before it splits into hot and cold. Are you on a well system? So likely you have a pressure tank downstairs. So again, as the water leaves the pressure tank before it splits into hot and cold, that's where the pipe will be cut for the water softener. Now, if you're installing, whether you're installing a high efficiency water softener like this Aquamaster or a standard efficiency water softener like this Clack water softener, um, it really doesn't matter. The installation uh, pr process is the same, basically, um, but the location is exactly the same. So you also need to think about uh, drainage, where you're going to drain the water softener. Now probably the easiest place to drain it into is the laundry sink. So um, that's one potential. You can hard plumb it into your um, plumbing for, as it uh, flows down through as long as you maintain an air gap. Um, you also need to think about if you have multiple pieces of equipment that you're installing, an iron filter, a tannin filter, ultraviolet light, things like that. So that also needs to be kept into consideration in terms of where the water softener is in the sequence. Now I have another video on my uh, YouTube channel that talks about that so you may want to check that out. The other thing you need to think about is hydro. Is there needs to be an electrical outlet somewhere nearby? Now both of these units have a fairly long cord a good 15 to 20 feet so you can keep that in mind but if not you may have to have an electrical outlet placed uh, nearby. So uh, getting back to the drainage of the water softeners when they backwash um, you need to make sure you're, you're uh, draining it into a location that's going to be able to handle the amount of water when it backwashes. So a high efficiency water softener like this backwashes about 14 gallons. Standard efficiency water softener 40 to 60 gallons. But some of the older water softeners they can be uh, backwashing 90 to 100 gallons of water. So wherever you're draining it into it's got to be able to handle that. Also in terms of drainage um, you got to think about you're draining it somewhere that won't freeze in the winter time because if it freezes it's going to cause problems with the, uh, with the backwash but it's also going to cause problems with the water softener itself. It will not work. So um, floor drain is, is another possibility for drainage. Um, as I mentioned already laundry tub you can hard plumb it. Um, you can also plumb it into a, a sump pump as long as you maintain that air gap. Um, when you're connecting the drain line, make sure that the drain line is secured at both ends. Um, and like I say, plan for that electrical outlet and make sure that electrical outlet is not a switched outlet. In other words, that it's on with a light switch. Uh, we've seen that happen far too many times that it's an electrical outlet that people switch off when they leave the room and then of course the water softener can't work because the power is sh shut off to it. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos as they become available on our YouTube channel. If you'd like some more information, you can go to our websites, either thewaterfilterestore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.